ready then. There we go. It looks all nice and ready for priming. Now, I'm going to probably take the barrel out and also prime this separately. And I am genuinely pondering about taking off this back turret here for it because it keeps coming out whenever I remotely do anything even slightly rough with this thing, it falls out. So I'm hoping if I just prime it outside of it, the added paint around the edges might give it a little bit more uh, grip. But we shall see. So that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. So I'll take that out. Take that out. Cool. I'm gonna have to do something about this because it's a little, it's a little flaccid. You know, needs a bit of uh, tank Viagra, I suppose. All right then. So I think I will. I'll begin with the big boy. <laughs> it looks silly with just the. Just the little Gatling cannon, the little Gatling cannon. Alright, respirator on, or at least it will be, once I figure out how to life. There we go. I was nobody until I put on the mask, then I became a silly boy. Right, here we go. Shake, shake the room! In fact, you know what, I'm gonna go a step further. I'm actually just gonna take the top off, we'll do them completely separately. Here we go. And that's the turret as well. Come on, there we go. Got this little fella. Nice. For the main guns, I've uh, masking taped over. Let's get a good shot, there we go. I put masking tape over the magnets just to be on the safe side. In all honesty, I'm sure they'd be fine if they were painted over, but you know, better safe than sorry and all that jazz. There we go. Nice. And there we go, that's the priming done. Now, what I was very interested about is the fact that um, on the plastic there was uh, some deformations, if you would. I figured once I painted over them you wouldn't see them, but you absolutely do still see them, so I guess it's more texture than anything that was the deformation, which is very interesting. And another mild point of annoyance is that, despite my best efforts, the see-through uh, floaty bit there has been painted black. I mean, obviously it's not much of an issue because you won't see it most of the time, but still. I genuinely thought I'd done my best to avoid that happening. But here or I'll need to find a way around that in future. Maybe even not attach it until I've primed this. But here or in addition to that, we've also got the top cannon, which is good. Nice and black all round. A bit of blue on the underside there from the priming station, but here or And we've also got the two main turret weapons, which I'm now going to remove the masking tape from. There we go. Excellent. Now that we do the other, and then we shall quickly see if... Uh, I did. If I allowed the paint to go far enough back for it to not be visible when it is in the turret itself. There we go. Good. Let's have a quick glance at this. Yep. Let's see if there's no sign of any of the grey on that one. That's good. Let's quickly try with the plasma destroyer, which is always a bit tighter. There we go. Yep. Let's say it's all good. Excellent. Just how we like it. Eh. Definitely need to find a way to make that a little looser. And the last piece was the rear turret, which has just come out. Nice and easy. I'm hoping that with uh, the added bit of paint it'll make it have better purchase in there, at least for now. I'll probably end up gluing it down the line, but hey-ho, that's a down the line thing. Alright then, and with that, let us begin the painting proper. And as I'm sure you guys can all guess, we gotta give this guy a base of Kalgar, not Kalgar, Macrag Blue. I know my ultramarine things. I'm looking forward to uh, dry brushing this fellow with Kalgar though. Boom, boom, shake, shake the room. Plenty of Macrag blue into my wet palette. I'm gonna need it. Right then, let's see if I've made this thick or thin enough. Bit too thin, scrape in a bit more paint. So I found a method online of watering down paints and that's to sort of apply the, the water to the little pile of paint on my wet palette on the edge of it and then drag in paint as I need. Or vice versa, drag in water as needed until it's just right. It's nearly perfect, I think I'll Taking it a tiny bit more. There we go, that looks lovely. All right then, let us do this noise. Paint, 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 paint. So guys, I mentioned earlier in the video about how uh, these repulsor tanks are cool and all, but I just love tracked tanks. I don't think I asked what do you guys reckon? Anyone out there who actually prefers the repulsors to good old tank tracks, which obviously is perfectly fair. More power to you and all that jazz. It's, uh, I just wanna know. How many there are, really? It also occurred to me, when it comes to naming this thing, it's not really going to be named in the same sense as any of the others, is it? It's just a, a vehicle. I mean, even a Dreadnought technically is a person inside it, even though I know you can swap out the sarcophagus. So I guess this thing's going to have more of a fancy title, a fancy tank name. Now, an actual name, like a person name, 
can have a ring to it. But when it comes to the name of a tank, I guess it could honestly be a little bit more kind of just whatever sounds cool, really. Which unfortunately means it's a much broader spectrum, as there are many cool sounding tank names out there. All I've done is apply like just a little bit of the first layer of the base coat for this tank. And I already think it looks really cool. I mean, come on, who doesn't like tanks, man? Tanks are awesome. Careful around these hook things. Anyone know what these are? I mean, I'm going with the assumption it's to attach things, such as uh, netting, maybe, or maybe even like a dozer. I don't know. But uh, anyone knows what they are. And if they are in any way um, a reflection of real world tanks, which I can't help but feel they are, do let me know, you tank lovers out there, you. You're my only hope. And here's another thought that maybe I should or shouldn't know. To what extent, or rather, how many Space Marines in a chapter are typically trained in the use of vehicles? Are all of them trained in every vehicle, or are certain members trained in use of certain vehicles? I mean, I'd assume that more are trained in some vehicles than others, like there'd be more just using the more basic vehicles rather than, for instance, the tank. So yeah, I know I could Google it, but it's more fun asking you lot, so if anyone knows, do. Let me know. Oh, great. Gotta paint behind small things. I don't like painting behind small things. It's hard. I'll do that separately in a minute. Well, it's gradually smelling more and more like Ultramarine, so that's cool. Basically, first layer on the front. Now, my usual complete non research self, I've no real idea to what extent things at the back are blue. Because I'm going off the box here, because again, one of the beauties of being a fan of the Blue Boys is that every picture of a Space Marine is a picture of an Ultramarine. But it doesn't show a view of it from the back. Again, I could Google it, but where's the fun in that? So I'm just gonna wing it, just go with what I feel's right. I wonder to what extent I should do the underside. Obviously, I'm gonna do all the underside parts that are certainly closer to the edge. But obviously, most of the time, it's simply not gonna be seen. So, how far do I go? All right, so briefly move over to a smaller brush, just so I can keep base coating in those, well, smaller areas. I think next time I build a tank, I'm going to paint it all before I add things like the little attachments and whatnot. I don't know if that's the smart thing to do, but it's what my silly self wants to do. This may take a while. Yes, indeed, this may take a while. Right, that's the first layer of the base coat of blue, very blotchy, but of course the other layers will solve that. Now let's do the same to this fine fellow. It's one thing I thoroughly enjoy about doing, well, painting models in multiple pieces is that while one is drying, you can do another one, so you never feel like you're really waiting around. Do -do 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 -do. Do paint, 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 paint. It is very satisfying watching this blue go over this black. It does it in a very satisfying way. God, painting the Aquilas on the underside of this is going to be fun. Do 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 do. Got to be how flaccid this Gatling cannon is here, just flippity flopping about all over the place. Definitely need to get a Tech Marine on that. I'm pretty sure that's all the base blue of note. That's the first layer of that done. Very cool. Right, so now I'll just get this cannon done. I imagine not a ton of this is blue, just the panels up top and the base around the edge. That's yeah, cool. Very nice. Now, I think the only thing that's blue on this is the the scope. Is the scope the right word for it? Rangefinder? There's definitely a viewport thing. Yeah, whatever it is, it's blue. I have decided thus. Nice. Right, so I think that's all the blue this thing gets. Actually, you know, do the top inside blue as well for reasons unknown. There we go. Cool. Right, nice. Same principle with this one, I believe. Do do. There we are. Yeah, I truly believe that's all the Macrag. Yeah, the Macrag blue this thing needs. I keep getting confused with my Calgar and my Macrag blue. I don't know why. I'm not normally confused over them. I'm having a stupid day. All right, back to the first one. Let's do that second coat. Let's make it look spickly and spanly. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if any. Hobbyists out there have invented like a, a mini roller just to roll on that paint. I know it wouldn't really work, but it's funny. I fear it's not as apparent on the cameras, but so far the second layer is really bringing out the color of its eyes, by which I mean its plate. This is adorable. <laughs> Gotta inject some humor into the grim darkness of the far future, right? Where there is only safety. That's, that's the second layer for now. Looking very good. Back to this bad boy. Bush, 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 bush. I know that these tanks and armored vehicles are mostly made of like a ceramite or adamantium, but are they made in that color? Or are they painted after the fact? I mean, I assume they are painted or somehow coated. But what kind of paint could survive the intensity 
of a battle of the 41st millennium in the grim darkness of the far future where there is only safety. I'm, I don't know why I've got that in my head now. I do apologize. Ooh. No. Oh. And there. But no, if anyone knows the finer details of the cosmetics of Space Marine armored vehicles, please do let me know. Again, I could Google it, but it's more fun asking you lot. Because you lot are clever. You lot know things. And besides, in my experience with Google, if I were to ask it a serious question like, you know, what is the default color of ceramite and Space Marine armor, then it'll probably just send me a picture of a penguin wearing uh, a football helmet or something. Got to do the outer edges of this gun casing. Probably means I did the same on this one. Yeah, lovely. There we go, very nice. And we'll get this a quick second coat. There we go, lovely. And then let's get these scopes all done. Excellent. And the last one. Nice. Very good. Got me some of that lovely lead belcher. Hope I've not thinned it too much. There we go, it looks lovely. Might have thinned me lead belcher a little much, but. Ah, well. It's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Actually, you know what? I think it actually is fine as well. There we go. I'm not going to worry so much about painting the uh, insides of them. I will see how it looks when it's all finished and see if it needs it. I feel inclined, by the way, while I'm sat here. Uh, to say thank you, particularly to those who have been uh, watching my progress for a long time. It's uh, thank you for all the advice that I've been given. As those who have been here long enough know, I began my painting journey on this channel fully with the hope that there would be some knowledgeable folks willing to share their knowledge with me. As I know, again, things could just be Googled, but I find things are better taught when you're actually taught. Folks who are knowledgeable see the errors and mistakes of uh, new blood, and they can actively step in, if you would, and say, hey, if you thought maybe trying it this way, it might achieve the effect you're looking for. It's like, ah, excellent. Whereas sometimes if you're simply Googling it or watching videos that are not personal to you, then it doesn't quite hit the spot. So uh, thank you kindly. Thank you kindly one and all. Right, sappy moment over. Uh, let's go back to the grim darkness of the far future where there is only safety. Get these other silver bits done. Again, don't know if they're meant to be silver, but they strike me as they would be. Like a protective grill or a heat um, thing. I forget what they're called. As for the thrusters themselves, there's a part of me tempted to leave them black, actually. I just have a feeling it would look really cool. And we shall see. Do -be -do. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. Get these barrel bits silver. I'm so pleased they came hollowed out. It just makes my life so much easier. But I'm definitely now going to quickly get a smaller brush just to you know, get those smaller bits. Excellent. I know I'm definitely going to give some more hearty coatings of blue around the place because it looks like it already needs a... Well, I, I already knew it needed a third layer, really, but... Still, right, so I think I'm going to paint inside these view bits here silver and paint over everything else after the fact. Very good, very good. Awesome. Very cool. All right, so now we're going to continue the lead belching. I'm going to add some bits of silver to these black stored bits and whatnot. And all this while I've got a snotty cat snotting next to my ear. It's most lovely. Can't you do this somewhere else, cat? Do do this on nice and smooth. There we go. Lovely. Do 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 do. I can't tell if my camera's focusing at the right place or not. There we go. Quick zoom in here. I think is good. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, that's the one trouble with zooming in the camera for you guys. You guys get to see all the details more than people normally would. Then again, that's extra scrutiny for me, more extra learning. See, it looks very smooth to me, but on camera it looks rather rough. Oh, which sucks. There we go. Okay, let's get that spanner. Let's get the silver inside these vent areas all good, and preferably with as little spill as possible. A bit more silver. Now for the other side. Cool. Messy, but I can just go over the outsides of the blue again, and then it will look lovely. And for some reason I want these bits here to be silver. And then I'll probably paint this bit here blue, because, you know, Ultramarines, they absolutely love their blue stuff. Or do I leave that black? Which I need to paint over again, of course. And make that blue. Well, one thing is absolutely for sure. This here circle there, I need that to be silver. Man, you can really see all the imperfections as zoomed in as you are right now. Oh, no. It looks fine to me. There we go. Nice. Right, now let's do the uh, silver outlining bits for this one now. Brushki, brushki. Lovely, look at that. Beautiful. 
Now as for the colour of this thing, I'm not too sure what colour it would be. I'm just going to follow my gut. Paint the spires as a whole silver, because obviously it's clearly of a religious nature, so it will probably be, probably be very important. Then again, saying it's of a religious nature doesn't really narrow it down much in the Imperium. What isn't of a religious nature in that place? De -push, de -push, de -push. Excellent. Get these ties nice and silver. So this uh, cable thing here obviously is indeed a cable. Towing maybe? Something of that nature? So I'm probably going to paint this silver as well, but a different silver. Something uh, just to make it pop a little more. There we go. Now these big rear thrusters. I'm just pondering what colour to make them because there's a part of me that likes them black. But they'd probably be silver, wouldn't they? Let's be honest. Yeah. Who am I to mess with destiny? I'll make them silver. Maybe I'll keep the inside black because they've been charred. Look for this. I'll zoom back out. There we go. Now it doesn't look so riddled with errors anymore. Cool. Get the underside of this done as well while I'm here. I don't know what this tank thruster nipple thing is, but it's going to be silver. Nice. Very good. Push, 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 push. Brushdy, brushdy, brushdy. Do, 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 do. Very good. Brushki, brushki. Dush, dush, dush. Very cool. Nice. I like it. Nice. I think for now that'll do with the silver with this big fella. Let's move over to silver's on the turret. Take his nose off for now. Nice then. Do, 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 do. Do. I might try zooming in again on this bit. Yeah, there we go. Make it easier for you guys to see. Lovely. Na, 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 na. Now it's difficult to get this angle. Hope you guys see me doing the underside here. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Do -do, getting a handle on things with my non pointed brush. Let's try that again. There we go. Very good. Shrunk. Paint that bolt silver just because. There we go. Same on the other side. Oh, damn, there's a whole streak of blue that I missed. Damn, boy. Excellent. Okay. Mesh, 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 mesh. Well, it's not mesh, it's great, isn't it? As in, this is a great, not that I'm doing a great job. That's, you know, we don't go there. Doosh, doosh, doosh. It's doing so well, not getting any on the blue. And that tiny little bit there. Oh, well. Just because I can, I'm going to paint these knob bits silver just to make things interesting. Right, so let's get this boy nice and silver. Gatling cannon go Let's get in that gap. Lovely. A bit of surprise highlighting there. Nice, very nice. Let's get this Gatling cannon looking lovely. And there we go. A couple of small blemishes, but I can patch them up later. And still a little flaccid, but oh well. I'm sure it'll perform. I'm going to need to paint over that again with black before I do anything. But what about the other side? It's all right. It'll do. Now for the radio antenna. With a very dodgy roll of the tongue. Okay, let's just quickly get... Oh, no, I would hate to try painting this tank when it's fully assembled. That would be a fiddly one. Do, 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 do. But when you just got a vent. Radio tower, radio tower. Communication is key. It's times like this where you're using a single paint for an extended period of time that you really come to appreciate the wet palette. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to appreciate the wet palette. It makes such a difference in such a broad variety of ways, but we just have that one little puddle that just stays a puddle. It doesn't become solid or anything. It's, it's good. It's good. Next, let me just make these little bad boys silver. And I'll have to do a last look over and see if there's anything else that I could silverize. Would it be silverize or silvercate? Making new words. Oh, that one looks a bit thick. I think I went into the not so watered down side of my silver pile. It's all right. What was that one? That's now number D. Yeah. Good, good, good. Right, I'm sure I could do more, but I think that will do. Oh, here's trouble. Don't snort into the microphone, cat. People do not wish to hear your grossness any more than they already have. Let's get this thing silvered up. Zoom in. Lovely. Oi. Don't you eat that. Oi. Don't eat the microphone. That's just silly. What? What do you want? What do you want, great snotsby? Yes, exactly. The great snotsby. That's what you are. Oh, you're just making yourself at home here? All right, fair enough. Just be good and non-disruptive, all right? Oh, good. He's leaving. He's having a very snotty day today. Oh, and there's a sneeze. Hopefully that'll help. I'm not kidding, sometimes this cat takes up to an hour to rev up to a sneeze. I mean, he's fine after sneezing. Not always, but fairly often. That's it, cat. Let it out. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do, 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 do. And get you nice and silvery. Nice. Parts of the screen there. I think I'll just make this bit silver. 
There we go. Nice. And this too calls to be silver for reasons unknown. Excellent. And sub it for consistency. Do it to the other side. Some silver on my brush would actually help. Crazy, right? That was way too thick, but never mind. Excellent. Definitely be going back over some bits of this. Once it's a bit more dry, I think. I say as I do it now. Nice. Very good. I like it. Right, so now for the plasma gun. I'm not too sure to what extent things are silver. The end would be silver, surely. Cat, must you sit there snorting down my microphone? It's most untoward. Yes, you're gross. We all know it. Right, Cat, if you're going to be doing this, I'm going to have to move you. Right, cool. No idea what else is silver on this thing. What about that bar under there? Would that be silver? I legitimately don't know. My gut feeling is taking me there, so I'm going to do it. And if I'm going to paint over it, I'm going to paint over it. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Good. Nice. That's excellent. That's all on the silver front for this thing. Super undy. Right. And the last thing to get the silver treatment. Right, cool. Let's get the end of that done, shall we? There we go. Perfect. If I missed any silver, oh well, it has missed that train. Alright, so next, going back to the big boy. Zoom out, please. There we go. We are now going to add some bits of the gold. Retributor armor gold, such as uh, the Aquila on the front. And there's not that many places, just mainly some Aquilas dotted around the place. Alright, let's roll. Don't need much of this one. What I really need to get myself is a dropper tool, because as it currently stands, what I do is I get a blob of paint on my wet palette, and then I wet my brush and dab next to it to make drops of water of a sort of what I believe to be the correct kind of ratio between the two and I gradually pull them together by pulling the paint into it. That's the method I use at the moment. And then I can pull a bit more water into it or a bit more paint into it to change its thickness. And the method works well, it's just more the uh, actual adding of the water that's a bit difficult. Maybe even a paint dropper would be good as well. Right, but this method works fine for now. Let's do this. Say that and I put too much on my brush because I'm silly. There we go. That's better. I think I watered it down a bit too much, actually. I did. Silly me. Don't know why I struggle so much to get the ratio good. I guess that would be another good thing about a dropper, would be the fact that I could measure it by the drop load. Right, hold on, hold on. Let's chuck in a bit more of the old Retributor. There we go, that looks better. I mean, hell, I just put in a decent blob of Retributor, and even that may not actually be enough. Going to quickly dab up what is on here. God, how am I making such a mess? Oh no! Oh well. That's better. That's much better. There we go. Right, it's definitely going to need to uh, tidy up some of that area. And you know what? Just because it's bothering me, I'm actually going to do that right this second. Get me another brush. Get me a bit of that sweet, sweet McCrag. I try not to be the type to stop mid paint job, if you would, but for some reason this one really annoyed me, so I wanted it done and gone. Ah, okay. That bit's still fresh. All right, it's gonna have to wait for that bit to dry before I can go any further, but still, it's better for it. All right, back to making other places gold. Wow, I really, really botched up that top edge. Oh, well. Wow, what am I doing with this one, man? Let's, let's just turn around. Let's, let's just not look. Let's get this edge nice and gold. Bush. Nice. There we go. And a bit of gold on the side, but hey ho, it works with the theme. I think that will be silver. However, will most definitely be a gold skull. There we go. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's all of gold for now on this. Okay, cool. Anything on here? Well, there is a skull. That's going to get gold. It's like maybe it should have been silver, but I want it gold. Nice. Anywhere else need gold treatment? I don't think so. Not on here, anyway. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nearly missed it. The Aquila on the ammo box. Zoom in for that. There we go. Lovely. Very lovely. One on the back? No, there isn't one on the back. Okay, cool. Right. Nice. Right. Now this does have an Aquila as well, so that will need to be gold. Excellent. This one appears to be goldless. Yep, I'd say goldless. And I'd say the same with this as well. Yeah, right, cool. I was trying so hard for this model to be one where I didn't go back to a colour after already doing it, but that skull down here definitely needs to be silver. Alas, alas. Now I know I normally have a penchant for making these gold, but all the silver already around it, I think it would just stick out a little much. There we go. Alright, so these lights in here I'm going to add some Avalon Sunset. Oh god, here you are again, you little snot bag. Can you just leave me alone today? You're too noisy and gross. Can you please go away? Can you please? Thank you. 
Anyway, as I was saying, Avalon Sunset for the yellows inside the lights there. I think I'll use a smaller brush as well. Oh boy, yellow. Everyone's favorite color in this hobby, I very quickly learned. It brings joy to all hobbyists. And if there's one thing for sure, I know that everyone is going to thoroughly enjoy my suffering. Okay. Let's see if we can't do this. Happy, happy, joy, joy. I don't doubt it's something to do with the pigment. You know, the pigmentation. But does anyone know why yellow is such an arsehole? Please do let me know in the comments, because I'm very curious. Again, as always, I could Google it, but where is the fun in that? Zoom in a wee bit. There we go. Do. There's a part of me that's pondering something now, actually. I might try it on the one directly next door, so we can have a little comparison. I'm going to... Uh, Coat it white first, then add that yellow. White scar, I'm sure. Actually, white scar? Yeah, white scar. Eh, shaky, shaky, shake, 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 shake. I mean, to be fair, that yellow that I put there, it's not too bad. It could be an awful lot worse. Okie dokie. Paint you white. Right, so let, that, uh, let that dry a bit. And in the meantime, I think we'll jump to do a couple of the reds. Because I have a couple of reds on this model that I'm going to do. Da -da 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 -da, Mephiston red. Blob on my wet palettes. Lovely jubbly. Alright, let's get in there. Yeah, red is much more cooperative. I like red. We all like red. Paint over that edge silver again a little bit, but never mind. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's see, you know what, these side bits here. Nice. Very nice. Alright, the white has dried off some. Let's get some nice focus. There we go. Now, let's try this cursed yellow again. We can do a direct comparison between the two. Side by side. It's goodness, yes. That is much better. Excellent. I think the main reason I thought of doing it with white under is because I vaguely remember a comment suggesting it long ago. Probably on old Ted the Dread with his yellow cables. Ugh. Right, since we know that is a valid way of doing things, I'm just going to quickly white up the other ones, including going over this one. There we go. Excellent. And zoom out. Let's We'll add a dab of red in some places. That was a mess. But the messes are okay. I think I need a bit more Mephiston than I thought, actually. Mephiston, Mephiston. I will one day learn the proper pronunciation. I'm good. I'll quickly go over that side again, because that side's just a bit dim. Lovely. I'm just seeing the little tiny points that are screaming for red. Sorry, you can't really see it, folks. There's one, and there's two, plus a bit of red there. So snotty, cat. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I'm sneezing. Right, quickly go over and see what reds can be done on the others. I'm quite confident this will be red. We'll make this red as well for reasons we'll never know. This looks like it would be a light, you know? Cool. Damn, now this is really flaccid right now. I've just noticed that this bit here, you can see, yeah, I haven't done that bit fully blue. Intriguing. This bit is going to be red. Right. That's all the red of that fella. Right, now these lenses here zoom in. Definitely gonna give them the old red. Bush, 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 bush. Lovely, I think. Are you lovely? Yeah, 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 lovely. Right, same on the little TV. There we go, lovely, lovely. Cool, and there is a tiny, and I do need a tiny little camera thing there, so I'm gonna do my best to dot that. Using this brush. Yeah, not too bad, nice, very cool. Right, so that white is dry, let's see if I can't paint it a lovely yellow. Gonna have to get out a bit more avalanche. I was hoping I wouldn't have to get out any more blobs of this, but here we are. Or something like that. So that's how messy it is. That's fine, I can tidy it up. I will make it beautiful one day, assuming I do not forget. It's kind of the story of every project I've done so far. I'll make it beautiful, assuming I don't forget. Fancy put the yellow in there. Cool. All right, so now another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to tip these with white. A white scar should do the trick. Colour these white, and then whence that is done, I shall tip them in red like a warhead. Do 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 do. Zoom in, there you go. Let you guys see every error and mess up I make, because that's what we're here for, to feel better about ourselves, seeing this guy make a uh, a pig's ear of his project, or something like that. Very cool. We do the other side. I'm looking forward to doing the tidy up, and we shall do the shading and the highlights. So for the shading, I'm going to do recess shading. I'm not going to completely wash this in non oil, whoops, like... I did with intercessors, for instance. In this one, I'm just going to recess shade it, but the highlights, however, I am going to uh, dry brush Calgar Blue. See how it looks. I'm losing my point. There we go. Bit more spillage on this one, alas, but never mind. And I'm just adding to it. <laughs> Come on, brush. 
Get pointy. There we go. Nice. You know what? I'm also gonna make these white. I'm not gonna tip them in red though, because I'm pretty sure these are just speakers. Do -do. Yeah, I'm sure while they're going around on their crusades, they blast out the beetles on these. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Right, now, I've done a plasma coil before, but I don't remember what I did. I think it's time to Google it. Alrighty then. Just had a quick look on the old interwebs. First off, Thousand Suns, then some Araman, and then one I do not have. So instead, I'm going to substitute it with just some Rust Grey. I'm sure it'll be lovely. Let's get this looking good. There we go. It's getting good. Then I'll need to, of course, apply a second layer to... Get all the coils. In the meantime, let's do the other side. You can also paint those inside edges. Oh, not like that though, since it is glowing. A bit messy, but not bad. Cool. Yes. Let that dry off a little. Nice. Let's get rid of this. Nice. Can't believe I've actually got in that little gap in the tail there. Go me. Can I replicate that? Can I do that again from here? Nope, but you know what? It's fine. No one sees it from this angle. Just serve me a bit more of the old McCrag. Thankfully, I was smart and planned ahead. This was, I think, when I got my bundles of my paints. I also bought just one extra part of McCrag blue, since I knew that I was going to do Ultramarines. And I'm damn glad I did. Right, I'm going to sort of redo this door as well, because this door here, let's zoom out, is looking a little jank, along with most of the tank. And I don't mean in a fun battle-scarred way, I mean just... Like, the tech priest that put this thing together was just not in the mood. Maybe his weekend was right around the corner. Because as we know, in the grim darkness of the far future where there is only safety, everyone gets a weekend. Right? Because otherwise I don't think I could advocate this future. I need my weekends, bro. Nice. And I'm going to keep these covers black. I just kind of like, I like the, just the different color. I like it. So I'm going to keep it. It's cool. I genuinely think that's all the base colors for this guy done. Alright, pop to one side, get everything else done before we do any kind of shading. I say that, and I've, I've got other things to go over as well, really. But the blue, I meant. It's, it's, it's the blue. Now, do you have any bits of need of going over? Oh, that was that bit there. Cool. Yeah, I don't think there was really much uh, to go over with the blue on this one. Cool. Nice. What about you? You all good? Just a little smidgen there. Ever so smidgeny. Just bloop. Cool. I'm pretty sure you're absolutely fine. Yeah, for blue, you're absolutely fine. And you as well. Uh, yep, yeah, you as well. Nice. Right, so now I'm going to go over black areas again, like the blue bits there, with some of the old Abaddon black. Shouldn't need much of this bad boy. Zoom in a wee bit, there we go. It's probably good practice to coat it in Abaddon black anyway, because it's technically still just a black primer. Ah, yes, and this uh, botched up Aquila. <laughs> My goodness, it's botched. Alright, let's uh, see if we can't rectify this bad boy. I think the only the Emperor himself could fix this. It's not too bad, actually. We just need to go over the Aquila itself again at some point. Yeah, but that is definitely much better. Good. Yeah, up here. Get that bit up there. Lovely. You guys probably can't really see it on camera because it's just black, but... There we go. That looks much better for it. As you no doubt can hear, the old snot bag is back. Goodness. Cool. There we go. Nice, nice. We're on the edges. Yeah, okay, I think that'll do nice. Yeah, lovely. Right, it's excellent. I think that's all the blacking that needs doing. Yep, cool. There's no real touch-ups to be made here, except maybe, there we go, that bit. Nice. This one here, you're all good for now. Shall I add some more layers to the plasma coils? Cool. And what about you? I think there was something somewhere. Ah, yes. Just the underside of that bit there sticks out a bit much. Marvellous. Good. Tiny thing, doesn't really matter, but I know it's there, and I feel better. All right, now let's just quickly I'll quickly bust out the silver again to do the meshing over the lights. All right, let's see how well I can do this, shall we? Do I remember when I did Ted the Dread, he had a light like this, and I forgot to go over the meshing with silver again, and someone in the comments pointed it out, and I was so annoyed because it just hadn't occurred to me at the time. I was like, ah, I can't unsee it now. There we go, that's pretty good. Now for the other side. Cool, there we go. Excellent. Let's quickly jump back to this fella now that's... These bits are properly blacked out. I can just quickly do the cross on this one as well. Nice. Love it. It's so loose. Might think about jamming something in there or something to make it less so. You know what? I didn't do the Aquilas. We are going to very quickly jump to gold. I knew this angle would be difficult. Sorry, you guys may not be able to see loads while I do this. <laughs> just went like that. Just smeared gold up the top of the hatch. Oh, what is wrong with me? Why do I do this to myself? It's a very silly. Oh, but that Aquila gold makes it all so worthwhile. 
Nice. Oop, it's gone over a little bit of blue. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so now assuming I've not forgotten anything, let's quickly put them together and see how it looks, shall we? And nose. Lovely. And a little back turret. Excellent. That's with the camera held up. That's it looking pretty good. I like it, I like it. Yes, that's all the base colors. Now we're going to start on the more fancy side of things. We're going to shade it. And then we're going to add some highlight colors. And then it shall look positively sublime. And then after that, I'm going to add some damage onto there. Uh, make it look like it's gone through some acid, possibly tyranid acid. And then there's decals. You know, I'll do decals before that, just to be on the safe side. And then that'll be that. All right then, let's get rolling. Let's try and line this up all right, shall we? Here he is. Thanks for blocking the shot. It really helps. I can't even get my brush You're right in the way. I did just realize there is one tiny little thing that I, oh, one tiny little thing that I did miss, which when the cat has moved his hairy butt, I will be able to show you. I said I was gonna do red tips on these uh, missile warheads, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Cat, you just leave. All right then, here we go. There we are. Very nice. Nice and warheady. No, it's a mess. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? But you know what? It will do. Let's do the other side. The first side of the missile bags had to be like that because this one is going to be so perfect. It's simply balance. Simply balance. Well, shit, that actually is pretty all right. So, uh, yes, balance. Cool. All right, so now it is time to do some shading. I'm going to disassemble him once more. There we go. And we are going to do it a piece at a time. Starting, of course, with the big bad itself. All right then, let this be done. Here we go. See how this looks, shall we? Do I need more? I cannot tell. Let's try again on the other side and see how it looks. Do, 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 do. I'm remembering how much recess shading makes me want to pull out my eyeballs. But this is the way. It may turn out a mess, but it will turn out my mess. Shading, 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 shading. Good. Do, 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 do. And the gunmetal bits, I'm literally just gonna wash them because I think they look quite good. Washed in the old gnome oil. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. Get it nice and dirty. I'm so dirty. The renegade red there, I forgot about. Oh, well, I shall deal with that down the line. Let's see how these look when I oil them up. Do, 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 do. There we go. Do, 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 do. Nice wash. There we go. It's very, very rough. And it's probably not even noticeable on the camera. But you can see all the bigger ones. So now I'm going to briefly pop over to a smaller brush and do some of the smaller bits of recess. Never been particularly good at recess shading. As far as I can tell, it takes a very unique individual to do excellent recess shades. I admire and respect such people. And also, FYI, such people, they're definitely not human. Otherworldly power. And yes, they might be Xenos. It's back to the thicker brush while we just coat up the bits of metal that I forgot like a silly boy. Alright, cool. We'll put him to the side while we do the shading elsewhere. Nice. Very nice. There we go. Excellent. Lovely. Now on to the next one. Right, and now this bad boy gets a quick brushing of the Nuln. Brush, 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 brush. Nice. There we are. Cool. And this one, it's not too much for a raise to quick sweep over these silvers nice and then lastly this bad boy sweep 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 nice right one of the last couple bits of shading just two more first bit of right flesh shade on any gold here and there we see big contender be this one there we go there as well and of course on this side quite heavy so given that it's exposed to the elements i mean they all are on this one so and that's all the is that skull up there nice next we go we have a gold skull and then we have the Gold Aquila's just sort of hidden out of sight, but never out of mind. And the one the ammo cake crate. A box mag, right? That's what it's called, a box mag. Or something like that. Lovely. And the only other bit of gold is this one here. Nice. Right. And the last thing I'm gonna do with my slightly smaller brush is Agrax Earthshade onto the reds. There's only a few bits of it dotted around, so it will not take me long. In fact, it's often all so small, it makes me wonder if it's redundant, me even doing this. Oh, trying to get into good habits and all that. That's that one. But it isn't that one. There is these little rear lights. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. Now, that's that one. We can get to the turrets. And that's technically the reds on there. Give it a sweep. There we go. Nice. Cool. And the only red on here is this here. Very good. And there's the TV screen on this. Add a little more, I think, so it's fairly prominent. Cool. And lastly, this one with a tiny dot. Dot. There we go. 
There we go. So vaguely got rid of that red. Emphasis on vaguely by the look of it. Okay. All right then. So with uh, that bit of shading done, it looks all right. I've never been very good at the recessed shading. But now, however, I'm going to take this Calgar blue. I'm going to dry brush it and see how it is on such a large model. So I've done dry brush highlighting on uh, some intercessors now, as many of you probably know, and that turned out really well. So I'm eager to see ah, just how well it turns out on something on a larger scale. All right then, let's try it on this side. Actually, no, we'll try it on this side because it's already messed up. I mean, it's not as visible. I don't know if I'm doing it differently. There's a light difference. It's very light though. Is that how it's meant to be for a tank? I don't know. I know nothing. A little bit much on there, but oh well. Now, doing the highlights this way on a vehicle seems to result in a much more measured appearance than on the intercessors. I suppose that's probably because of the size difference. Unless, of course, I'm simply doing something wrong. That is always a perfectly valid point. I might have to redo the gold there. I'm going over a bit with the blue. Bear in mind. Yeah, it does actually look pretty good. And I'm sure that with some hard from Rizian Grey highlights down the line, it will look sublime. There we go. I, can't, I don't think you can really see it as well on this camera, but I think here is the best example of how it looks more or less the whole way through. But I'm pretty pleased with it. Excellent. All right then, I shall put him to the side for now. Whoosh. There we go. Okay, definitely have a bit much on my brush, but ah oh well. Oh, feline trouble has returned. Hello you. What can I do you for, cat? What brings you here? What foul curses are you here to invoke upon me? Uh, you wanna bite the back of me brush? Get get your mouth off it. There you go. Get get off me brush and trying to dry brush, you know, they're trying to nibble the end. Oi, give me that. Stop being such trouble. Not when we need a tank on the front lines. There we go. Looks pretty good. I like it, I like it. Right then. That's that one. Cat, you don't need highlighting. Get your fuzzy ass out of the shop. Yeah, that's right. Fear the slander. This bit only needs a little. You're in my shot. Please stop being in the shot. Move your foot. Move your foot. Oi, get off me cowgar. I need that. I need that, cat. You're a menace. Come on, Nurgle. Why are you trying to stop me building ultramarines? It's not like we're enemies or anything. Yo, you're full of mischief today, aren't you? Feel better? Not chewing the end of that brush. You feel better? You're going to get banished if you're not careful. Right, someone's getting banished, and guess what? It's you! There we go. It's a little more shady when I want it on there, but never mind. Not shady, only highlighting. A little more highlighting. I'm dropping everything! Yeah. There we go. Nice. And then lastly, I thought I banished you to the warp. How'd you get back so quick? Well, it took you at least a hundred years. Oi, this dry brush is meant to be dry. You silly boy. Don't you know how dry brushing works? Did no one teach your fuzzy ass? You wanna help? Well, you cut. No, it doesn't need to be wet. It's a dry brush. It's a dry brush, you silly cat. There we go. Nice bit of light shading. Highlighting. Why don't you calling it shading? What is wrong with me? Excellent. All right, then. So next, I'm going to get some of this Dawnstone. I'm going to apply this to the black areas. First, I am going to try it via dry brushing as well. Just to see what happens. Cat, what are you doing back here? How many times must I banish you? For reals, bro. For reals. Right, let's see, shall we? Way too much. I honestly thought I'd taken off enough. Alright, I'm making this very difficult, Cat. Let's do some. I definitely thoroughly. No, I'm very confused. Alright, someone needs banishing again. Get out of here, you little devil. Or demon, I should say. Wait a minute, look! Look, there's an aquila that I missed! What? What has happened? What is going on here? I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I'm so confused. And what am I confused by? We don't know. Excellent. Right, I'll come back to that shortly. I don't know if dry brushing more or less everything like this is actually a good idea. But hey, it's good to find out. I think it looks all right. Just make things look a bit more lit up. Nice. Very nice. Knocking my stuff. It's very slight, but it's noticeable. Good. That one is no longer noticeable. Now it's just too slight. Add some more of that Dawnstone. Stick it onto my dry brush. Na, 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 na. Why have I always got too much of the dawn start? Come on, get off my brush. There we go. I don't know what's going on now. Why is it now slightly milky? Oh well. Cool. 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 Hmm. Not so cool. I was being careless again, but I was going to say, but a little twist like this of the fingers gets rid of some of the excess grey. There we go. Nice. Let's put that bad boy back on, please. Your stick, please. 
Very good. Excellent. Let's make sure that it's not in the way of anything. No, nope, it's not. Good, good. Good, good. And lastly, just a bit of this foam fellow. There we go. Nice. All right, so now I'm still going to attempt dry brushing things. I'm just curious to see how it will all look by the end. We're now going to throw a little bit of Stormhost silver onto the silvery bits. wonder how many people are watching this just begging me to stop. Oh, cat, don't bring your snot over here. It's vile. Right. Ooh, that looks good. Nice. It definitely improves how the bottom things look. The repulsors. Right. Very nice. I do quite like it. Cool. That's the next one. It's not so much on this one. Whoop. It's kicking everything now. I wonder who's credited with uh, officially uh, naming, dry brushing, and categorizing it into what it is. Which clever sod did it? A little bit on there that I didn't need. Oh well. Nice. Very nice. Push over the front. Just a little bit on the inside of these. Sublime. Don't know if you can really spot the difference on the camera, but it definitely does make the silvers more shiny. Excellent. And then lastly, this fellow. Cool. Very cool. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is, thankfully a fairly short thing, I'm just going to add a smidgen of Uriel Yellow to the yellow lights there. Just a dab. Will it be the top or the bottom? Put it on the top, I think. Cool. A very tiny detail, but still, I know it's there. And the less of yellow we have to deal with, the better, it would seem. And next, we are now going to add to some of the reds, a bit of Evil Sun Scarlet. A bit of the old Evil Suns. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake the room. There we go. And just a dab. See if I can do this in a way that can still be seen on camera. Now oh, these tiny red bits have been covered by the blue highlighting anyway. There we are. Nice. And then just a smidgen on these backlights here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. And we'll do the same again here. Very cool. And that's all the red. Yeah, well, there's a... Little reds in the warheads there, but I think I might just leave them as is, leave them in the shade of the missile rack. Yes, I think I will. Cool. Right, so there we have this one. I'm just going to sort of shade it on the top. Like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Turn that a bit. Lovely. Nice. Similar principle here, but more squared. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And then there's the tiny little red dot here. Nice. Very nice. All right. I think I'm now just going to quickly do a little bit of touch up on certain areas. Like, I want to redo the gold eagle on the front mainly. So I'm just going to do that with some of the gold I still have here. Okay, and I'll reshade that very shortly. Oh yes, and there's also that eagle there. I'm starting to think that in future, certainly on big models like this, I need to do what I did with the intercessors. Do the base color, it's full highlight and shading, and then do these smaller colors. I mean, in hindsight, it actually seems rather obvious, but you know, it is what it is. There we go. Don't think I missed any on that side, no I didn't. All right, skull there is actually all right. There we go. Nice. Right, now comes the big jobby. I am going to edge highlights with Fimrisian Grey. All of the hard edges. It'll take me a small while, but it is a job that must be done. And then I think it'll make this thing look absolutely sublime. I've done everything else as good as a noob like me can, I believe. Now it's time to see if we can bring it all together. Right, that's it watered down, I believe. Sufficiently, probably. Too much, almost certainly. But let us see, shall we? I think we'll start this inside edge here. It's all right, a little thick. Let's see if I can just wipe it and try again. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, cool. All right then, now that we kind of have the feel, the vibe, if you would, let us crack on with this party. Now that's a difficult angle to get to. On one side, I'm blocked by the camera port. On the other side, I'm blocked by the tank itself. Kind of did it, first blunder. Never mind. got to say, it's only a lot easier to Edge highlight this bad boy than it is to do actual space marines. No surprise there, I suppose. Given that this thing is imbued with lovely straight lines. Whoa. The only problem with this precise edge highlighting is you've got to hunch right over it and uh, makes your back ache. Be mindful of good posture, kids. Yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> what was that? Might quickly see if I can't sweep that up. Sweep? That's better. This bit of the painting may be the most arduous but it is also one of the most satisfying when you see a good edge get highlighted there we go it makes you feel good sorry i'm not very chatty during this guys it's just hyper focus the focus is real i'm hoping for just watching the application of these flawless highlights is satisfactory content in and of itself, or something like that. Yes, utterly flawless, look at that. Hmm, I'm not sure what other edges need highlighting, really. A couple of small bits on the top, really. 
Alright, cool. I think that's more or less it within reason. It does look really good for it. Nice. Very nice. To the turret. Whoosh. Let us see what we can do. I genuinely expected that edge to go horribly wrong. Instead, it just went wrong. Nah, it went fine. There it is. There's the mess. Nope. Oh god. I just did it again, but on the other side. No, it's a cursed edge. Oh god. I think I'm getting a little tired or something. Because I'm suddenly doing a lot more botch-ups. Complacency is a killer, my friends. Do 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 Ah. Perfect highlight up until the last stroke. Right, so this one was definitely much more blotchy, but it still looks pretty good. Nice. Right then. That's both the big ones done for the Fimrisian Grey. Quickly jump to this one. Yeah. Nice. Ish. Near as damn it. Nice. Apart from that annoying blotch on the top there. Very nice. There we go. Top edge highlight there. Very slight, but very good. Alright then, I think we're very nearly done. The next thing I'm going to do is just reshade that gold eagle on the front and the ones on the side. Very good. Nice. Button that one there. There we are. Now I know I did a Dawnstone dry brush over some of the black areas, but I think I'm going to do a couple of hard highlights over a couple of little areas. Like the top of those uh, twin linked heavy bolters at the front there. And maybe a bit over the exhaust that I have at the back. I don't know. I just have a gut feeling that it will uh, benefit. So. I'll do that. Plus it gives the Reichland flesh shade on the gold Aquilas a little time to dry. Right. I made that way too wet. There we go. That was a nice little something. A frayed ass brush. Yet it still adds the highlighted edge pretty decent. Now oh, what am I talking about? Point it. Get a point. You got a point. Just freaking make it. There we go. There we are. There's another Aquila! How am I missing all of these Aquilas? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, they're slipping past me. It's quite the travesty. Oh, well, at least it's at the end, so that way I can have a nice shiny look. It is not like me to miss a chance to get some gold on these bad boys. Here we go. Lovely. Let's move that over real quick. We'll have a quick inspection of uh, the other various bits of the tank. Now, could the top edge there do with a little bit of a... A Dawnstone coating. Well, not coating, but an edge highlight, I should say. Oh, these certainly do. There we go. I thought something was missing. There we are. Cool. Nice little bit of black edge highlighting. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. What the? Why is there red here? What's that? Why is there red? What's going on? I am puzzled. It's obviously the blood of a Xeno, but still. How strange. There we go. That's a couple of hard edge highlights in here. There we go. Oh, it does look pretty good, actually. Tiny little edge highlight on there. Bit of spill there. Never mind. I am, as you guys know, I like to keep a lot of spills, unless they're really profound. Just as a reminder to my future self about hopefully how far I will have come. Hopefully. After all, the journey is just as important as the destination. And if you erase every step of the journey, then the destination is only half as impactful. Or something like that. Nice. I think I might need to go over the edge of that again with black, because I've got a lot of silver spill, but... Yeah. I'll go back to this in a minute to start going over the plasma coils. First we're going to do the highlights for this bad boy. Cool. Not crazy, crazy highlights. He's good. He's good. Alright, so I've got myself some Araman Blue, which I'm now going to add to the plasma coils on the Plasma Destroyer. Now, well, I'm not too sure how best to do this. Uh, I think it's sort of running along. There we go. Yeah, like that. I'm not sure how best to do a glowing effect, so that's something I'm probably going to have to look into and come back to down the line. Yeah, but for now that'll do. There we go, it definitely looks a bit brighter. Cool. It's definitely recognisable at least. Once again, a smidgen of Reichland Flesh Shade. There we go. And while that one dries, I'm now going to bust out my Liberator Gold and highlight uh, the Aquilas and Gold Skulls dotted around the place. Just a bit on the top. There we go. And we use... Oh, way too much on the top there. Put over that. Bit there with black. Nice. And over here, very gold. Very good. Quick smear there, and a quick smear in there, because I know it's not very visible. There we go. And then the last bit here. Nice. Pretty good, very nice. I am going to very quickly just tidy this bit up with some macrag, just because it is annoying. There we go, that's much better. Any other bits that need a little macrag? I don't think there are really, at least nothing of import. Tiny difference, but still a difference. Right. And then that tiny smidgen of Liberator just on here. Beautiful. Probably barely see it on the camera, but it's beautiful, trust me. Then one more tidy up. 
just gonna get this bit of Abaddon black. Don't have any more on my palette, so I'm just gonna take a smidgy bit on a wet brush. There we go. Just in fact, zoom in for this bit, just so you guys can see me really mess up. Okay, that actually went very well. Good. I'm going to take a very small brush, and with some lead belcher, I'm going to go over the rivets and make them silver. And then I genuinely believe that it's done at that point. Right, let's give this a quick spin. I've got my teeny tiny brush, but I'm wondering if I'd be better off with a bigger one. Let's do a couple more and see how it fares. That fares alright, actually. All right, cool. I've just got to go around and rivet this riveting boy up. And rivet, and rivet, 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 rivet. I'm going to be dreaming of frogs by the end of this. Rivet, rivet, rivet. I've done a few, but it does look very good for it, doesn't it? That's what do we like to see. Migrating to a slightly larger brush. Still very small, though. Just to see how it affects things. Rivet, 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 rivet. Damn, this thing's covered in rivets. It's like they want to hold it together or something. Rivet, 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 rivet. Does look very good just for silvering up these rivets. Nice. Thankfully, most, if not all of them, are on the main body. Only a couple on the top turret. Rivet, rivet. That was a bit of a messy one. Never mind. Rivet, rivet. Rivet, 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 rivet. Oh god, I'm making a big mess there. Okay. Rivet, 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 rivet. Gradually getting messier as I go. Oh well. That one, however, is not an oh well. That one must go. There we go. It's just this side to rivet, 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 rivet. Rivet, or small rivets there, there we go. No rivets left behind. All right then, that's all the rivets. Nice. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna bother doing any acid burns on this one, or am I? Indeed, I'm definitely not doing any burns on this because I just looked to see if I have any sponges and I forgot to get sponges. So uh, yeah, that answers that. So in the back, we pop you. Slight off angle, yeah, that's good. Cool. And we're gonna stick, oh yeah, I need to find a way to make this not so floppily doppily. I think just a smidge of blue tack stuffed in the top might do the job. Let's give this a spin, shall we? Really not much at all. Right, just sort of stick that in there. There we go. Push up, there we go, nice. Cool, excellent. Probably won't last, but it lasts long enough for this. Now this has thankfully got a little bit less flippy. But still, i twist you around because I have the image of it banking a little bit. And you can sort of see it when I do it straight, it's got a nice bank. As a result, we'll raise that so it's more level. And uh, let's see how it looks with the old plasma destroyer. There we go. Nice. Excellente. Reads you up and down you flop. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just keep it. So, hmm. Let's... No, I really do want to find a way to make it more cooperative. If I could just take that out, there we go. What if I was to take this smidgen of blue tack and just sort of put it on the joint? Literally the tiniest little bit. Just let. Oh, my fingers are too big. Literally like such. Only on one side as well. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Down a little, but not too much. Let's scrape you a bit more out of sight, I think. Nice. Man, I do love this. I do love how I can just take it and swap it out. The uh, plasma destroyer. Hang on. I just remembered. This is a, a laser destroyer or a heavy laser, laser destroyer. That's it. Yes, it's not about battle cannon at all. I've been thinking the predator tank. This is a laser destroyer, possibly heavy laser destroyer, I don't remember which, so that makes me even more convinced that that is not a plasma destroyer. But for the life of me, I don't remember what it is. Those knowledgeable in the comments, please let me know. I beg you. I mean, I'm sure you already have countless times, but please let me know. I know you're the um, onslaught Gatling cannon. Twin-linked heavy bolter. Twin-linked heavy stubber? I don't remember <laughs> the heavy stubber. Oh, man. And I pride myself on being really knowledgeable of 40k lore and stuff. And <laughs> yeah, I'm forgetting basic armaments. But no, this... Heavy, I'm gonna say heavy laser destroyer. Or is it just a laser destroyer? Ah, semantics. Anyway, let's move on. But before we move on proper, I've just noticed one thing I forgot to paint. Purity seals. I always forget the god's damned purity seal. Right, let's get on this. Do, do, do. There will come a day where I don't forget about the purity seals. Arf, arf. I don't know why I forget them so much. And also, why would you stick paper on the outside of a tank? I mean, that shit's gonna get blown away before you know it. Do 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 do. There we go. All right, so wait for that to dry just a little before we do the next layer. And while waiting for that to dry, we may as well get on with uh, the decals. 
soon as I remember where I put them anyway. Right. So I've got two of these big ones. I'm going to put one on each side on this large panel. Then I've got two of these slightly smaller ones, which I think... Well, I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. I think that's all for ultramarine signing. I think. Then we got to do uh, companies and squads. Hello, Merlin. Now, I can see on theirs they've got its uh, second company, third squad. Well, third whatever tanks go in. They don't go in squads, obviously. Again, tank people, do let me know. All right, then. So since there's nothing going on the actual main turret head, I think I will take that off. Ah, there we go. And I'll just take this bit off because it's so eager to come off all the time. Cat, what are you doing up there? Don't be a pest, buddy. Right, so let me trust you, Microsoft Microsoft. All right, then. Let us begin by cutting out the ultramarines. Hello, cat. Man, don't let the Inquisitor see this tank cuddling up to a creature of Nurgle like this. That would not be easy to explain, especially while you're busy spreading your diseases. Still firmly stuck. Come on. Just tore it there. Oh, oh God. Okay. Well, this just got interesting. All right, you know what? In my uh, chaplain box, I still have the box, I have the... Uh, the decals for that. I can replace that one with that one. Right, well, that's something I need to be careful of. Let's try that again with the next one. It's, I wasn't particularly rough with it, so I don't know what happened. It's obviously Nurgle's taint. I mean, what else could it be? It sure wasn't me. Okay, I'm just gonna... Just not letting it sit in there long enough, I think, so I've just got it dunked in some water. There we go. Surely that's enough. What do you reckon, cat? Shall we see? Oh God, it's breaking again. What's going on? Jesus. What is happening? Oh, now a cat's munching the end of my brush. Thanks, cat. He took the brush off me. What? You don't want me to do it? Well, I'm going to do it. Okay. Right, I'm going to go back to those big ones after I've done the others. Now that I know that they are going to be rapscallions. Let's try this again. This time with the slightly smaller ones. Going for the front snip. Alright, so this time I'm holding it in for a good, long, awkward amount of time. Sorry, I don't mean for that to be pointing at you guys, it's very rude. Okay, let's just try again. Oh, ow. Alright, yeah, I need to use this brush, so if you are going to be lunging at it like that, I need to evict you. I know, I know, it sucks. But you suck. I just don't get it, it's just breaking apart the moment I do anything with it. Wait, it's not going there. Why are you sticking to me? Okay, it is ultra crooked, it's ultra messed up. But it's ultramarines. I can push it down, but I can't push it up. Come on. Work on me here. All right, so this whole distortion is due to the acid attack on the side. So I think I've been doubly motivated to just find a way to blotch it black. How? I don't know. But first, I'm going to apply some of that precious microset to this bad boy. Yeah, dab up the excess. Cool. Right, well, thankfully, the next one will be flawless. We can do the other side while we're here. A campaign badge. Again, I'm very closely doing what the box did, but I just, I think it looks cool, so that's why I'm doing it. That should be the reason one does anything. Boop. There we go. There we go. Nice. Right, so we'll let that, uh, well, micro set. Let's, let's turn it around and on its side for this next bit. Actually, you know what, probably this side's better. There we go, got it unstuck. Now let's put it on here as best we can. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Now again, with the micro set, and then it moved. Oh, come on. I got it all lined up, and then I move it one inch, and suddenly it will not. Just so annoying. There we go. More or less realigned. It's not perfect, but near as damn it. You know what? I'm actually going to one-up the picture I'm seeing. He's going to be part of two, not part of three. Haha, <laughs> beat that. And you know what? I'm going to cut out these eagle wings here for the back door and get them soaking. Get out another one of these as well for the back bit. So I'll get out another two here. Annoyingly one that I think might be slightly smaller. There we Whoop, there it goes. Along with the one that's attached to it because I'm silly. Can you stay up like that? Mm, not really. All right, on your side then. There we go. Oh, oh, for goodness sake. Get off me thumb. Nice, there we go. Okay, that's about as straight as I'm getting, so I'm gonna stick with that. It's next, there we go, not too bad. Just accidentally made it better. Nice. Why can't that happen more often? So I'm going to have to do this just out of view of you guys. I do apologize. Very good. And, well, it was very good. There we go. Now it's very good again. All right, cool. It is looking very good so far on all the decal fronts. Minus the botched up one. Right, now for the doors at the back. I just realized there's some rivets I didn't do right at the back door. There. 
There we go. It's not perfect, but near as damn it. I enjoy near as damn it. It's my favorite thing because it's kind of embodies me. Right, it's time to go get my other vehicle livery thing. Here it is from me chaplain. Annoyingly, one of them has already been used. So, in order to keep things consistent, I'm only going to use the smaller ones because knowing that one will be bigger than the other would wind me up no end. So that's one dunked. And we'll get this one out as well. Thank you, Mr. Chaplin, for your generous contribution. And that's the other one dunked. Right, so I'm going to let him sit there for a minute. While it is sitting there for a minute, let's have a quick look at these purity seals. Alright, so give them another quick layer of the old Morgast bone. There we go. Could have thinned that a bit more, I suppose, but never mind. Never mind. Cool. I like it. Right, I think I'm also in a position to... Uh, where is what I'm looking for? There it is. To do the seals themselves. So I'll quickly do that. Adding a nice smidgen of corn red. Water down. There we go. Do, do, do. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice. Right, so now let's see how well these here have loosened up. It broke. It broke, man. What is with that? It makes me very unhappy. Oh. There we go. Okay. Tap some micro set on that before anything happens. Ah, something happened. And not on the one that I thought. I thought for sure it would be the little one that moved. Ah, whatever. Fine. You are. There might be hope of salvation. Okay, you know what? That's what it was called. Ah. There we go. Okay. We'll leave that like that. That's fine. So swap up. Gods, I loathe decals. They're evil, but they're so useful. Turn you around, so you're more balanced. All right, I can smell it in my tonsils that this is the one that's going to be super easy. It's going to cooperate like nothing else. I've got all these letters on my fingers. Get off. Oh, look, it is. Okay. okay. It's not even remotely central. <laughs> I'm just so excited to get it off. All right, come on, you. Move over. Budge up. Oh, it moved. It moved. It moved again. Okay. Moved a bit much, moved a bit much. Come on, come on. Don't break. Oh no, it's breaking. Ah, okay. Oh no, ah, what's going on? It was going so well. Nonsense. Wow. Oh my lordy. Here we go, serious face. Maximum effort. Sorry, you guys can't really see. I'm just trying to keep it level. Okay. No, oh, whole thing's getting destroyed. Ugh, come off. Come on. All right, maybe I'm just going to leave that side empty. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to leave that side empty because it's being very troublesome. And that's fine, that's fine. I can do my own thing. I'm just too heavy handed with them, I suppose. I need to really work on that. Still got some of the stuff stuck to my fingers. Get off. Do not want you here. You are not welcome. You're in my bed books. At least that one's all right. All right then, now I'm just gonna add a nice bit of pallid witch flesh to my wet palette to add onto the seals. Cool. Right. Now it's time for the micro sole. On the, certainly the ones that are now dry, like this one. Wiping up excess. Same with you. Yeah. So I keep forgetting to put it in shot. I do apologize, folks. There we go. And you. And you. Excellent. You're still too a bit. Are you a bit fresh? Yeah, you're still a bit fresh. Oh no. What happened? What happened to the eagle? I don't know how to move it. Come on. It's not even at all, but never mind. We're just going to roll with it because it's cool, yo. We'll just say that the tech priest that did these was, I don't know, drunk on diesel or something. Nice. Right, so then back to these purity seals again. We're in. I'm now going to highlight the wax. The waxy wax. Give it a nice bit of Emperor's Children. I do love this pink. Nice. That'll look good when it's dry. Well, I mean, it looks good now, but you know what I mean. It's micro Oh, please. There we go. At least this one cooperated. Oh, cut down. Me and my big mouth. Come on. Okay, right. Leaving it. It's good. I will not mess it up any further. I need to get good at drawing things by hand. I could try drawing it on there by hand one of these days. I'll leave it for now. All right, but no, I think it makes them more or less done. Excellent. There's a part of me that genuinely wonders if the right time to apply decals is not actually at the very end, but after all the base coats are done because technically the highlights will also be casting over the decals. So would it be better to rather than have the decals on top of the highlights, to have the highlights on top of the decals? Something to think of for future, I think. All right, and now for the very, very, very last thing, I am going to put some black writing onto these purity seals. Probably won't work very well. Yeah, that's no, not too bad. 
better than nothing. So he's got Dalmatian skin just hanging off the purity seals. Oh, why has this moved? Why have you moved? Get back there. Why has it moved? Ah, whatever. <laughs> You've just whatever, bro. Oh, I hate decals so much. I really need to spend some actual time just practicing with them. Because... I'm just, I mean, it looks really nice on there, it's just wrong. While it's there looking wrong, I have... Hmm, hang about. First off, let's just quickly fix this with some white scar. There we go. I say fix it, I mean just botch it up more. But that's not the main thing that I'm doing. This is going to be an opportunity to test something. Since in the decal department it's already looking rather rancid, I'm going to give some uh, matte varnish a go. Just to see how it ends up looking, for future reference. I mean, in the end, all of this is just test dummies for me. I'm not sure how best to apply it, however. If I use a brush, or it looks like I do need some kind of special brush for it. Nah, fair enough, I'm not going to be varnishing this time. I need to get myself a separate brush or something. Or I could just use a tissue for now. Nah, I'm not. I will save it for another time. Right then, that, folks, is the Primaris Repulsa Executioner. A very mighty fine piece, that's for sure. The, while it may have some botched decals, it does, however, have magnetized main weapons, which I do thoroughly enjoy doing. Oh, here comes the Nurgling to uh, give it his blessing, his dark blessing. I guess I'll probably move the camera up real quick so you guys can get a better look. Here we go, fantastic. The decals are annoying me, but you know what? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm ultimately very pleased with this, along with the uh, plasma whatever this is. Incinerate, plasma incinerator. I think that's it, it's a plasma incinerator. <gasps> it came together at the end. All right then guys, if you did enjoy watching me assemble and paint this model, then please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's what we're here for and it helps me out a great deal. So thank you, Nurgle. Until next time, my friends, let's go, tank. And that's it.